new revelations tonight from Fox Undercover that the FBI was given a chance 20 years ago to make a case against a well-known organized crime figure, but they took a pass. Well, now that informant is facing a laundry list of new charges, including dealing heroin. Our investigative reporter, Mike Baudet, with the new information. Mark Rossetti was an up-and-coming mobster in the early 1990s. That's when a state police sergeant named Bill McGreal got a tip that Rossetti was becoming a major heroin dealer in East Boston. McGreal offered the case to the FBI, but it's what happened next that's only now beginning to make sense. We're not even past the high Hawaii stage when he says, I'm just going to explain something to you. Something goes wrong with this deal. Something's going to go seriously wrong for you guys. Retired State camp. Police Sergeant Bill McGreal recalling his first close. encounter with Mark Rossetti. It was 1979. McGreal was working undercover, and Rossetti was an up-and-coming wise guy. This kid's 21, maybe at the time, 22, something like that. And, you know, he's, he's like right out of central casting from The Godfather. I mean, this is like incredible. And I had never dealt with anybody that young that was trying to act so mobbed up. McGreal says he later bought a small bag of cocaine from Rossetti, but the case never went anywhere. The next day, Rossetti pleaded guilty to assaulting and nearly killing an off-duty state trooper. But it wasn't the last time McGreal encountered Rossetti. More than a decade later, around 1992, a drug user came to McGreal with an offer. He'd go undercover and buy drugs from Rossetti in exchange for help getting out of jail. This time, though, Rossetti was no up-and-coming wise guy, and his record had grown to include a conviction for an armored car robbery. So I decide, being a good guy, the FBI is looking at members of La Costa Nostra. This guy's either made or he's about to be made. And I've got an informant who tells me I can do hand-to-hand -hand sales with Mark Rossetti. And he says he's willing to do it. McGreal calls the FBI and meets with them. And my informant lays out clearly his dealings, heroin trafficking, uh, purchases of heroin from Rossetti. And he deals, he explains more about Rossetti's dealings and says he's really an up-and-coming heroin mover in the East Boston area. A few hours after the meeting, the FBI and called McGreal to talk about the case. And I'm told we're going to take a pass on Rossetti. And I'm saying to myself, this guy is really a guy who's got a propensity for violence with two convictions of crimes of violence in the Ahmed car and in the assault with intent to murder on a trooper. He's got a drug distribution Thing, and now he's dealing heroin, and he's moving around pretty good in East Boston, and they're going to pass on him? It didn't make any sense. Hearing now that Rossetti was an informant for the FBI, does it make sense? It would make sense, because if you get a guy dealing heroin, and you know he's either in the mob or he's about to go in the mob, what better time than to take him off? McGreal says it's likely that Rossetti's arrest then would have prevented future crimes. But what angers him more is that the FBI would go into business with someone convicted of nearly killing a fellow trooper. Part of the outrage on this to me is that you got a guy that almost killed a trooper. Almost killed him. And then he goes out and he holds up an armored car. They have to be looking the other way. It has to be the same as Bulger. He's more important to us as a top echelon informant than he is as a target of an investigation. Another part of Rossetti's background the FBI was apparently willing to overlook is that Rossetti is considered a suspect in several murders. And while it's not clear exactly when Rossetti became an informant, a defense attorney in the current case said in court recently that Rossetti was caught with an FBI agent's beeper number in his pocket in 1992. The FBI declined to comment for this story, but the agency has said its handling of the informant in this case was done by the book.